Hey everybody, this is Lord Magicus, and uh, this week we're going to play some Historic, and on this channel I've played both Spirits and Merfolk, and I decided that, you know what, this week, since it's been a while since we've done either one of them, I'm going to split this week in half. We're going to do half of this week will be Merfolk, and then the second half of this week we're going to play Bant Spirits. So, let's look at this. Um, yeah, this is the list I'm going to take into battle. I'm going to play Best of One. Um, this is just what I feel interested in playing on Arena for the most part. The the nice thing about Arena is just it's really quick to jam games. But, you know, best of one is a little bit more aggressive and more combo oriented, I'd, I'd say, in general. Or more aggressive than... You're not going to find like as many dirtily slow kind of control or mid-range decks in best of one. So, you have, you have to kind of plan for that, so... Yeah, I, I, I'm going to play best of one with this, and then we, we have to tailor your list a little bit to it, so in that regard, I'm going to put some mist callers in my deck, because this card's actually really good against uh, a couple different things, like goblins especially. Uh, mist caller can be like a hard counter to um, Muxus, yeah, and also it's pretty good against collected companies, um, so it, yeah, it, it's pretty strong with that. Um, I have some wizards retorts and some brazen borrowers. There are going to be things like nine lives combo that you have to have answers for, and so Brazen Borrower is a good answer to the enchantments if they stick. And counter spells are just strong in general. Uh, yeah, so we've got a you know a nice curve you know with um, nine one drops here. We can curve all the way up, and we have Collected Company, which is nice. The Glass Pool mimics, which can copy the Lords, or help Grant get us to four mana so we can cast Collected Company, and have my nice uh, shark sleeves here so let's go play some uh best of one yeah, where are we at water horsey blues i haven't been playing a lot of ranked but yeah so so uh, yeah i think everything's been reset because i have played basically no ranked at all so we're starting kind of all the way from the bottom here <laughs> Let's see how this goes. I mean, near the bottom, like, pro things are probably all over the place, I imagine. All right, come on. Can we find a match? This is unusually long. If we like go out and go back in, is that gonna help? That's weird. Okay, we'll try this again. There we go. Immediately, all of a sudden. <laughs> all right, we are on the play. Um, his hand's not that good, to be honest. Like, both of our lands come into play tapped. I think I'm going to mulligan. This is better. It's not perfect, but I can live with this. Um, I guess I'm going to put the Wizard Retort in the bottom. Play Botanical Sanctum. Now oh, we're up against Burn Deck, huh? It's okay. Let's play this tapped. Regery, and then hopefully next turn we can play Glass Pool and copy Regery. If it can live that long. Because if Regery dies, we're probably in a lot of trouble. Maybe Collected Company could help us out. No! Damn it. Okay, well, that was very good. I'll do this at the end of their turn. Um, is there any, I guess, it's fine. Let's see, what do we got? Regery and Silvergill Adept. That's not bad. 
So let's play Glass Pool Mimic. Copy this. We'll untap some lands. Untap, untap. Uh, I guess tap and um, untap. Um, I guess I'm just going to attack with the Silvergill Adept. And I, can, I don't really want them to kill any of this stuff, so I'm going to put counters and everything right now. I don't think they can kill me reasonably this turn, so... Uh, you know what? I should have did that beforehand, because I could have got one extra damage in. That was a mistake, but... This is probably winning anyway. Like, there are only three... Or I guess four of these things have to connect, but they only have two blockers, and, like... It, if we draw any creature, like, their blockers are irrelevant. Like, they're very probably dead. I don't see them dealing 13 damage. Okay, that doesn't really do it. Do you have one mana yet? What are you going to do with it? Okay, I'm at five. I guess if they had a land and another bolt, they could do it. But I don't think they do. No, they just gave up. All right, excellent. There we go. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Yeah, I am already at max um, level for Zendikar, so. If you can, yeah, usually, like, if you get, if you ever max out your level on, on the Mastery Pass, um, you get much, much better reward spending gems on that than, like, anything else, so. Always spend your gems in the Mastery Pass. Totally worth it. All right, I think this is keepable. I'm going to do it. I'll lead with a breeding pool. Okay. Um, yeah, I guess I'll reveal that. There's a high chance that I'm going to play it next turn. I want to attack with the Silver Gill. And then we might be able to follow up with, like, you know what? We should probably play Glass Pole Mimic, unless we draw a land. I think I'd be happy to attack with Silvergill and trade it with both of these tokens. It means the Lovestruck Beast wouldn't be able to. Yeah, I think we're going to play Glass Pool and next turn we'll play Breeding Pool. If they want to trade it, then this means Lovestruck can't attack. Because they won't have any 1-1s. One so I think they just take 3. A chump block is reasonable too, but they have options. I think I'm happy with any of them. Okay. Yeah, I can play Breeding Pool. We get two creatures at instant speed. It's fine, and we still have like Silvergill and Kimena as backup. Alright, opponent, what are you going to do here? First of all, do you have a third land? Because you're going to need a third land. Alright. Ah, oh, they had to bolt themselves for it. Oh, Skyclave. Alright, that's rough. It's not the end of the world, though. Go ahead and attack me. I dare you. 
Uh, well, now this is dangerous because they could have their own collected company. What are you going to do, opponent? Interesting. Okay. I have a feeling they're going to tick it up, but that's okay because, like, we should be able to kill this Vivian even if they do that. Um, I think this is where we try to find Miss, yeah, our Merfolk Trickster. So let's get Regery here and Trickster. Okay, it can get bigger. It doesn't matter now. So here. Let's play... Miss Collar, I think. So, yeah, we want to untap this. Uh, sure. Alright. Like, this feels crushing. The trickster can now just tap down three things, so we're just getting in ridiculous amounts of damage. They can play like a lovestruck beast, that's fine. We're gonna attack them for way more than they can handle. And if they just play like a creature in pass, then I can even just play Kumena, tap two guys down. Ooh, okay. So Brazen Borrower here is fine, I guess. Yeah. Sure. I don't think this is going to work as well as they want it to. Probably shouldn't attack here. Okay. Hmm. So I, I, I can play this and go to three mana and then yeah, okay. Uh, I don't know, I guess untap this. I will tap that. Good luck! <laughs> I don't know how you come back from this. I, I'm really interested to see, but I don't think it's going to happen. We can still draw a card with Kimena, and there's like no way they can kill me this turn. Like, that's fine. You can do this. That doesn't make any significant difference. If you exile Kimena. Alright. So they are targeting it. Alright. I'll draw a card. Sure. You, you can take my Kimena. That's fine. You're still, like, super dead. You can play, like, a Lovestruck Beast and still die. Uh, 
Okay. Does this change the math in your favor? I don't think it does. No, you can... Okay, you get rid of a regery, like... Uh, so I guess what? If I draw a fish, right, you're dead? Yeah. Any merfolk wins the game, and you can't attack. I also have the ability to just flash in Brazen Borrower on your end step if I fail to draw anything. So, there is that. Even Silvergill is fine. Okay, that works. Uh, I will tap that down. No matter what, you can only block three things, you take four damage, you're dead. And boom goes the dynamite. Okay, there we go. Um, let's do one more here. These are quick. I think we have time to do one more for this video. Do 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 do. So. When, when yeah, when Merfolk's not up against like ridiculously oppressive stuff like the Rakdos sacrifice deck, Merfolk can be okay. But the problem is like the sacrifice decks are like very very good, and it's very hard for us to beat them. I really want to keep this. I'm going to against my better judgment. This land sucks. Oh, we're gonna die. This this deck is terrible for us. <laughs> Um, all right, we'll play this. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, we're, they're absolutely going to murder us. Yeah, life gain is like super hard for us to beat. They have protection spells for it. Oh, fuck. I can't really... I mean, I guess I can actually attack here, and if they want to trade, that's okay. Because I can't reasonably block at either of these things. Okay, um, I guess I play Silvergill Adept because I have to like curve out here. Oh fuck, yeah, no, we're, we are murdered. <laughs> that is just going to absolutely be devastating. This life gain deck is so, so hard for us to deal with. Like, there's no good block. Alright. Which means we're gonna have to use, like, Trickster this turn, but, like, that's not gonna really do much. We're not curving out here either. Um. Yeah, there's, there's not really a good plan. I'm gonna have to discard a card. I guess I'm discarding... Uh... Discard a Regery. Say, so actually, now I have that. Oh, that's that's fun. All right, let's keep Heliod from attacking. <laughs> Good, excellent. Um, <laughs> we are so, so murdered by this. All right. We will pretend to put up a defense. Uh, there is nothing I can do. They just give this protection and this gets flying, or yeah, has flying, so I can't block either of these things. Mm. 
Why? Why are you giving me a chance to block any of this? You could have just killed me. I don't get it. Okay, well, they, they could have just won the game that turn, but I guess they just decided to screw around. Uh, okay, we're dead. <laughs> no, we're, we can't, like, weather and attack this turn, so... All right, that's gonna be it for today. Uh, we'll we'll do like three videos of Merfolk, and then we're gonna do three of Spirits. So uh, that's all I've got for right now. I hope that you are, en are enjoying Historic. Um, there, there's not a whole lot that's coming out in Kaldheim that I'm interested in putting in either one of these decks at the moment. But we'll see. The Pathways probably will help Spirits a little bit. There's like one or two cards that you could play around with, but. Overall, I don't think the decks are going to fundamentally change very much. So, uh, that's all. Yeah, so that's like I said, that's all I got for today. Uh, please give this a thumbs up, and I will see you again tomorrow. Take it easy, everyone.